Today, we'll try to answer a question you've probably already asked yourself. How can I help my students feel more involved and motivated? Well, the answer lies in student-centered learning, a powerful approach that puts students at the heart of their own educational experience. Now, most of us are already familiar with the theory, but let's dig a bit deeper, because according to a recent study from Education Week, while 75% of teachers declare that they know the principles of this approach, only 35% of them are able to really apply it in their classrooms. This highlights that student-centered learning is probably still a challenge for most teachers. Are you one of them? In this video, we'll break it down for you by providing you with further information about this approach. First, we'll explore the benefits of this teaching methods for your learners, and then we'll list all the key principles of this approach to see if you tick all the right boxes. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Throughout the 20th century, student-centered learning gradually gained ground for the way it promotes learners' autonomy and active learning and for the way it encourages teamwork and collaboration. But the benefits of this approach go beyond personal development. Research shows that when students feel like the leaders of their own learning, they feel empowered which ultimately boosts their motivation, improves their grades, and supports long-term success. Given all these advantages, it comes as no surprise that more and more teachers from all over the world have embraced student-centered activities in their classrooms. So, how can these advantages and benefits be achieved in practice? For this to happen, teachers must create an interactive, flexible learning environment that caters to individual needs and interests. Let's explore how we can make this a reality together by following just a few steps. As we already mentioned, the first and most important thing you shouldn't forget is that teacher's role is completely shifted in this method. Students should be the real priority center of your lessons. The traditional teacher-driven approach, which puts a distance between educators and learners, is not as effective. Students' attitude towards learning, especially the younger ones, improves way more when they're guided and not directed from up above. At the core of student-centered learning lies a very simple but powerful idea. As teachers, we are guides that help students reach their autonomy. Does your classroom look like this or like this? Classroom layout plays a crucial role in boosting your students' motivation. If you haven't tried it before, let your students decide where they want to sit. The main idea of student-centered learning is to create an environment that encourages students to feel at ease so that they can discuss, collaborate, and express themselves more easily. U-shaped seating, putting tables in circles, creating group stations, there are many ways you can make your class more inspiring. Which is your favorite one? You cannot say that you're adopting a true student-centered approach if you don't include at least one group activity in all of your lessons. Collaboration and active learning are important at any stage of our life. They play a fundamental part in the development of group management and communication skills. If you haven't done it yet, start prioritizing group assignments over standard lectures. When working in a team, students are more motivated to complete the task as the outcome of the project is completely in their hands. And don't forget to let them choose how to show their understanding through written reports, posters, presentations. In this way, you can use their interests to make sure that they work on the classroom agenda. We all know it. Every student is unique. Different ages, backgrounds, learning styles, and habits. So why should we teach them all the same way? Student-centered learning relies indeed in differentiated learning. By tailoring the activities according to your students' needs, you can make sure that no one feels left behind. Research also showed that students who received differentiated instruction had significantly higher achievements on assessments than those thought with a standard curriculum. So, on your first classes with your new students, take your time to get to know their interests and try to prepare activities that revolve around the topics that they care about. And then, remember to divide them in groups based on their levels. They will appreciate your classes even more. So, these were the four key elements of student-centered learning. But on a practical level, how does this approach look like in action? Well, you could try flipped classrooms where students are the ones to teach and conventional roles are reversed, or also project-based learning where students explore real-world problems and present their solutions. In Jigsaw, teachers break a topic into parts, students research about it in groups, and then they come together to share what they've learned. It encourages teamwork and independence. Last but not least, recent developments of student-centered learning include the use of AI, VR, and ICT tools. They can be useful to create interactive and personalized learning activities that let students dive into different scenarios so that you can defeat their weak attention spans. So, student-centered learning is not just an approach, it's a mindset. 
It's about creating environments where students take control of their learning, collaborate with their peers, and face challenges independently. But this doesn't happen by accident. It requires intentional planning and sometimes even a complete redesign of our approach. So I'll leave you with this question. How student-centered is your classroom really? Are your students just passive listeners or have you already embraced the challenge of creating a space where they feel more active and motivated? Let's keep the conversation going. We'd love to hear your thoughts or advices in the comments below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to your Past Teacher Academy YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date with the latest teaching trends and methods. Mm -hmm.